Hi everyone, welcome to the QAOps channel. I'm Rafael Lima and today we're going to actually start coding. We did some, we, we look at the project, we look at the application, how we're going to run the application and so on. But today we're going to start creating our first uh, test using Cucumber. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so, please do so. Uh, hit the bell so you can receive the notifications of the next videos and uh, let's start right so the first thing that i'm going to show you is we need to start the application right so my application is not it is up and running great uh better um and we're going to start creating our first test if we take a look at the strategy that we we foreseen is that this is going to be our structure right we're going to be start writing the features, right? Animal feature, order feature, user feature, and the step definition for each and every one of those. We're not going to do this part right now, but we're going to be doing that shortly, right? So if we take a look at our code, we're going to, we, we decided that this is going to be resources features. This could be inside resources. Uh, just in the root folder, but we're going to be using resources for other stuff as well like properties And you can use for other things too. So I that that's why I decided to put a package called feature features as well Right, so we're going to start with the user feature um, If we take a look at the code where is the browser we have a user and we're going to create a user right if i take a look here if i click on the user i'm going to be able to see what is the contract what is expected right so this is uh this is a create so we need to do a post right on slash user right uh so it's going to be slash api slash v3 slash user and this is the contract, right? We need to send this in order to, to to save the user. There are a couple of things that we need to note is that we need to send the ID, otherwise the, 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 the store does not create the ID automatically. So this is a bummer, but we need to send the ID for that reason. Usually you do not have to send the ID because the ID is going to be retrieved once you create it, like once you insert in the database, you're going to have a assigned ID, right? So let's start the, the actual scenario, right? So I'm going to create, we have here a, I'm going to create a package resources because we look like we don't have. So I'm going to say resources, resources on the test oh we already had it and i'm going to create a package uh called um features great and on the features i'm going to use the user feature as we have already defined here uh user feature right so this is going to be a new uh, doesn't really matter what you do uh, as long as you put dot feature is going to recognize as a cucumber. See, you already see the cucumber sign here. Great. So now first thing we're going to do is we're going to say what is the feature that we are using, right? So I'm going to say feature and I'm going to say managing, uh, managing a user in the pet store right here i can put any business context uh jira stories whatever make sense in the business area right so this is going to be ignored and now we're going to start the first scenario. So the first scenario is to create a user, right? So we're going to create create a user in the pet store. Right? 
And if we, 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 we remember the, my presentation about specification by example, what I need to do to create a user, I just need to uh, do a post, right? I don't need to say, given I am on the pet store, or given I access the pet store, we, this is already the pet store. I'm already saying here, this is a pet store, right? So when I do a post, to slash v3 slash user with the following values. Note that this is not exactly what I wanted to show you at the end result, but this is a process, right? So this is the first scenario. I see a lot of people writing this. We're going to make this a little cleaner. I'm just saying this because some, some, someone watching this could already say, hey, this is not the best way to do this. Yes, this is not the best way to do it. But let's let's keep the, the the mental process right. And I'm going to say I'm going to need to send this contract. Right? So this is a contract, right? And I already have here a contract in mind. Uh, awesome, right? One thing that is important to note is that it doesn't really matter if the table is organized or not, IntelliJ is very nice to everyone, right? So it doesn't matter how messed up your table is, as long as the pipes, these signs here called pipes, are a separ uh, uh, separated into columns, right? Because there is a, uh, a command here that is called uh, reformat code or out command L, that is going to watch the table. When I hit here, it's going to organize the table for you. So do not worry about being disorganized at first. It's going to be organized uh, when you fix it. Right, so this is the contract. We have the ID, we have a username, we have the first name, the last name, the email, the password, uh, the phone, and the user status, right? I'm going to just going to put the password here, uh, the, the, the phone, the opposite. Right? Also, now this is going to be sent to our code. This is what we're going to be using. Then what I expect, right? What I expect, this is my when, but then what I expect to see. Then, uh, then I get the created user, then I receive a little bit better, receive the created user when I do a get to slash v3 slash user. So then I receive the created user when I do a get, when I do a get to v3 slash user slash something else, right? So if we take a look at the contract, now we're going to look at the get, right? So the get is user, username. So this is the contract. I'm going to do a get, and this is the contract. I'm going to send the username, and it's going to pass. Uh, we're going to return 200 and the user, right? So we need to say what's the user that we created. The username is Raphael. So it's going to be slash Raphael. Right, so we have this scenario here. And I can write this in another way. I can say scenario, um, create a user in the pet store using JSON. Right? And the scenario is going to be when I post, when I do, when I post to slash v3 slash user with the following doc string and I'm going to pass the doc string it needs to be <coughs> the same contract but now the contract is going to be in JSON itself let me uh, improve here a little let me align and now I can work this great so this is me sending a JSON itself. This is a table and this is a JSON. I can send the actual JSON to 
uh, the code and I don't I don't like it but and this is also going to be pretty much the same then I receive the creator user when I do a get to v3 blah 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 awesome but one thing that we need to we need to we need to bear in mind here is this does this look like a business scenario for you would be would 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 this make sense for a business person to read and understand it do you think that the person is going to make make use of this of this this is going to be a little bit harder for for the person to understand this one I, I think that's going to be easier but this table can be pretty big right then it's going to be very hard and very readable but let's let's take a look at some key things that we discussed in my previous video I'm going to be posting the videos for you we discussed it about uh, when we created the specification by example using uh, using this kind of scenario here I can do a step-by-step -step approach as I'm doing here or I can just say something cleaner right I'm going to, I'm not going to go over this again already I already uh, talk about this video but this is a step-by-step -step approach where I go every little thing of what I do in the application and this one is a cleaner way and everything else is hidden right hidden in the context so let's do the same approach here, right? I'm going to create another scenario, scenario. Create a user in the pet store in a business way. Right? When I create a user then I receive status code 200 and the created user was stored right I even question myself if, if we need this right maybe you want this because you want to specify something you want to make sure it's there it could be another kind of code uh, but I don't really think this is needed uh, because if something is created we're going to see here in our in our in our pet store that when we create user create we're going to be expecting 200 successful operation uh, in successful operation is 200 right uh, so this is what we're going to be expecting um, and this is this is a standard right so I would remove this and I would just say then when I create a user then the create a user was stored this is the expected I, I, I'm, I should be able to create a user and the user is there in the database right so where is my post and where is my endpoint my post is implicit my post is here on the create the post is already a rest action for creating for changing something for for uh, you have post you have update you have sorry you have put for update but for creating you have post and then the creator user was stored do I need to say that this is uh, that this is how I should get the user no this, this is something in the code right and somebody else that's going to be working the API has access to swag you don't need to specify every single little detail here All right so this is a scenario then everybody that was going to come and say okay what we are testing we are testing that we need to create a user uh, and when we create a user then the create a user was stored great so this is those are three same scenarios but think about the readability think about the the business understanding the the amount of reading and understanding what's the data that is being sent does a person should care about every little piece piece of data that's being sent here i don't think so right but this makes more like more complicated scenario to read so this is basically what i want to show you i want i wanted to divide you into this concept this is just for me to explain to you what we are not going to do 
what we are not going to do. I'm going to be showing you how you can automate with this because this is part of what I what I believe. I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you the knowledge and the tools. But this is how I think you should be writing. Uh, and from the from this video on, from my, my the other scenarios, I'm going to be writing in this way and not in this way. But then I'm going to automate make sure I'm going to automate it this to you. So it's your choice of how you need to use it, right? The important thing to note is this is a data strategy. And as I mentioned, the data strategy strategy needs to be in the code because this is going to be very polluted and it, see, it might seem simple at first, but it's going to be really complicated to maintain and you're going to see a lot of duplication. Great. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you like it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell so you're going to receive the notification of the next video. You're going to see that we, we, you saw that we are already starting the coding itself. Uh, but stay tuned, we're going to be deep dive, going deep dive into action implementation, right? Thank you.